Uh, good morning. Uh, welcome to this devotion. The other day I asked my grandson who his friends were at school. And he's three and he goes to preschool. So he said to me, Carter. Carter is my friend. Lucky for me, I, I knew or I know the names of the other kids in the school. So I asked him, and what about Noah? And he looked at me and he said, no, Noah is not my friend. Carter is my friend. And I tried the next name and the next name and I got the same response every time. And eventually I had the silly grin on my face because I could see where this was going. So I said to him, do you only have one friend? And his response was, he showed me his index finger. And he said, yes, Grandpa, I have one friend. Carter, Carter is my friend. So I asked him, you've got so many pe people around you. Why do you only have one friend? And he looked at me and his shoulders sagged a little and he said to me, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I laughed and, and I hopefully he learnt a little bit and, and um, I'll pick it up from him because he's got lots of friends around him and I'll ask him again. And, and like I say, hopefully he was a sponge and learnt. I'm, I'm very privileged. I often participate in ministries where there are people from various denominations. And although I avoid issues of denomination that split us I do enjoy listening to other people's point of view especially when they differ to mine and and when these points come up I usually I usually just let them slide I mean I found that there are some guys that figured out what my theology is and and they try and lure me into a debate but I but I ignore them I ignore them most of the time not to go down that conversation but every now and then my self-control um, seems to be weakened and, and, and there's this issue of prosperity that comes up and then I, I can't help myself but voice my opinion. Every now and then there's this, there's this guy that, that says things like, um, if you are tired or stressed, just follow Jesus and he will heal you from all your tiredness, from all your stress. That's what Jesus does. And, and in our group of guys from various denominations, there are some guys that are poor and, and they know that they are tired because of the work they do and and they know their solution is a better job but but there is no other jobs to go to so they get confused when people say to them that their tiredness is something you need to be healed from there are businessmen that know the source of their stress and and this prosperity theology guys that jesus can heal them they know it's not true and i can see it in their eyes i really struggle with with the 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 prosperity gospel that some of the guys preach and and I'm aware that are people that 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 make promises these promises like like Jesus will heal you from your tiredness Jesus will heal you from your stress whereas I know the correct answer is each one of us asking am I in a season of tiredness am I am I just in a season of stress and, and the correct answer lies in us identifying the source of our tiredness, the source of our stress, and, and then deciding whether we're going to ride out this, this, this season of stress, this season of tiredness, or, or whether we're going to go and, and find some other, or remove ourselves from that stress or from that tiredness, you know, like finding another job or something like that. There's no mysterious thing that just makes tiredness and stress vanish. My Bible... It teaches me that if you are tired or if you are stressed, Jesus calls you into a relationship. If you are tired or if you are stressed, Jesus calls you into a ministry to come and help people in need. The Spirit of, of God is with us, help identify whether we are in a season of this or not. And, and gives us the strength to endure through this season. The Spirit of God gives us wisdom to identify the source of our tiredness, the source of our stress, and, and to clearly understand where that source is. So if you are tired, if you are stressed, my, my Bible teaches me to say to you that the Spirit will give you wisdom and strength to understand the, the source and, the, and the, the season of your tiredness and from your stressness. And, and during this season, if you decide to write it out, that the Spirit will give you the strength to endure. And, and so I hope that if you are stressed, that if you are tired, 
that you would that you would understand that the spirit of God gives you wisdom and endurance to get through that and 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 while you are stressed you are still called to come into a relationship you are still called to come into to come into service and to ministry and 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 come and help feed the least the last and the lost so during this if you are in this season of tiredness and stressedness may god give you the wisdom to endure until we meet again god bless